doing a hair video. Ever since I've cut it, I have not done any video about styling short hair, so I feel like it's time. I will admit my hair has grown considerably since I've cut it, and when it was shorter, I did find that I liked it straighter or like even slightly wispy like this for the most part, but now that it's grown out a little, it gives me a little bit more room to play with. So here is my before hair. It is freshly washed, which means it's a little bit more difficult to style actually, so I'm going to just put a little bit of product in it. I'm going to start with this thermal spray. Well, it's actually a Miracle Shine spray from It's a 10, but I'm using it more for the heat protection. And I'm like eating this stuff. And of course, I grabbed the tiniest clip that can even clip much of my hair back. <laughs> probably should turn or flat iron on. Oh, I'm using a flat iron. Um, sometimes I use like a skinny curling iron, but today we're going to do a flat iron. This is just the Chi Smart. All right, let's turn the heat up. It's kind of cool because you can actually see digitally the heat rising. All right, it's at 400 degrees. So for the front pieces, I usually do like to style it away from my face. The faster you go, the less like wavy it's going to be. You can curl some of it forward if you want a little bit more volume as well, but I'm just going to go ahead and curl most of it, if not all of it, away from my face. And I don't stress too much if I can't get all of these little shorter pieces at the bottom here. It's not too big of a deal. Cool. Very nice. Okay, now for this side, the other way, because once again, just keeping it away from your face. I've got a mirror here so I can see how the back looks. Some pieces here can use just a little bit more bend, but as you can see, this is just going really fast. Like, I'm not being really neat with it at all. And now you're going to repeat the same steps. And for the top layers, I tend to not like it to look too waved or too bouncy either. I kind of want it to look very effortless, so just take it easy and just let it do its thing. All right, so for the bangs, I'm gonna try something different this time. What I usually do is I just grab it and I go from underneath it on the other side like that and then I twist it away. But I'm gonna do it differently this time because I'm, I always do that, so I wanna change it up. So this time I'm gonna go from the front side. So like if you're holding it like this, twist your hand this way, go underneath it and then twist it away from your face. Hey, I like that. That worked out really well. So for the rest of the front pieces here, I'm just going to wave it away gently. Just very gently. Yeah. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. And we're gonna keep going. So far, I'm really digging this. I think it looks amazing. I'm gonna take this texture spray wax. It works okay as a texturizer. I mean, I'm gonna use it for that purpose, but it's actually really, really awesome as like a soft hold hairspray and to get rid of like those tiny flyaways. If anything, I always like to eat up right up here by the, the parting. Let's get rid of those little frizzies. And then I'm just gonna spray a little bit underneath just like that, just to texturize it. I don't wanna spray on top because for me, with any product, too much product will weigh my hair down. A bit of scrunching. You can kind of spray a little bit over the bangs too, just like that. And we are done. So that's how I would style my bob for a slightly more voluminous but soft and wispy, subtle wave. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more short style hair videos, let me know and I'll do more. See you guys on my next video.